Whoa. I think we are there in a couple of seconds. Great. All right, I think here we go. And we are live on Facebook. Hi, guys. Hi, this Hi is everyone. Christina. <laughs> and welcome. I'm Christina, and this is our fifth live, as I promised, out of six. And for today, I have invited a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous coach for you. And I have with me Maggie. Welcome, Maggie. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. And uh, welcome everyone. I, I've been looking forward to joining you and hopefully you will enjoy it. And um, yeah, thank you for your invite, Christina. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. And uh, yeah, let's blossom together. My pleasure, beautiful. Maggie, for those who don't know you, would you like to introduce yourself? Who you are? What are you doing? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Great. So my name is Maggie, Maggie Englander. And I'm a health performance coach and also an NLP practitioner. Um, I'm creator of Rewiring Yourself and the Undefeatables Facebook community group. I, uh, I love coaching. I've been coaching almost all my life. It's about 20 years so far. Wow. And uh, I absolutely love it. I'm not thinking even that it's my career or it's my, uh, it's my, uh, my, it's my job. It's just my love. And my, my life is extension of who I am. And therefore, I've been doing it for such a long time, inspiring people all across Europe and other nations as well. And uh, so what I do, I'm helping professionals and uh, entrepreneurs uh, achieve best results in their careers by supporting them with their health. So I combine elements of coaching together with different therapies and uh, I do um, so I cover mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health. Um, I help them with health prevention, but also I'm doing lots of um, lots of um, healthy sa safety plans, and also helping people to overcome difficulties in their lives, mm. uh, rebuilding their lives after breakdowns, uh, um, rebuilding their lives after crises. And also teaching people how to prevent burnout, how to, um, I've done lots of coaching in terms of coming of addictions, losing weight, improving physical activities, um, sleeping and relaxation, mindfulness, um, holistic health intervention in terms of how we perceive ourselves. So starting with mindset and moving towards our body. And I love to believe that the greatest asset that we have is our mind and our body is our holy temple. So exactly. uh, combining all of this together can give us life uh, that we can create on purpose and the life that will support us in achieving best results in the careers that we choose uh, for ourselves. That's amazing because people really, really need coaches like you, uh, coaching, not paying attention on the body, mind, and soul as well. And I completely agree with you that the most powerful tool, what you have, is basically our mind. Because with our mind, we can, we can, we can achieve almost, if not, Exactly. It's empowering people Everything. to self, uh, to have good self-esteem and confidence and to empower them, inspire them to believe truly mm -hmm. within themselves that they are great enough and they matter. And, exactly. uh, and what they think about themselves really, really matters to them. So my mission for my coaching is to uh, support people with reconnecting with who they are at the course. I love you. That's my topic. I love this topic, Maggie. I'm sorry for interrupting you, but an idea came to my mind and I have this very bad habit that I'm interrupting people. <laughs> <laughs> but the reconnecting with who you really truly are is really my favorite topic. And as you mentioned a little bit earlier, you can achieve everything. 
And here we get to our topic from today, which is basically how do we know that we are ready for success? And um, I would love to ask you if you have something in mind, do you have any favorite quotes about success? Because success means different things for different people. Yeah. How would you define it? How would you say, what would be your favorite quote regarding success? So I have a few different ones which I stand by and I really, really love. And uh, the first one is being successful inside. We are being successful outside. So how much love we have for ourselves and how much wisdom we have about what's happening with us, we project it out to others. Mm. and we, We project it out to everything else that's around us. So, uh, yeah, being contained and being peaceful and believing in yourself, you can move mountain. So there is a second one coming to to place uh, by saying creating your life on purpose Mm. and be healthy and successful by choice, not by chance. So I love this one. Can you repeat that? Live your life on purpose. Creating your deja vu moments, (laughs) creating your life on purpose and choosing a be healthy and success, successful by choice rather than by chance. I love this one, guys. I love that. Thank you. I it's love so that. so powerful when we finally take ownership of our lives, of our thoughts and our behaviors, and we're creating our amazing future that so many people are afraid of. Mm. So there is a, many people, they, uh, many people are terrified of the future and of the success because mm-hmm. what they know it's what they've been living with so far exactly. and uh, many people also they need empowerment to start seeing even a greater future than what they leaving behind so this will empower them to make a choice and to make decision to move on regardless if it's uncertainty that we're facing or not yeah, I'm agreeing with you and I come back, I'm going to go back a little bit to one of your sentences when you said that it's coming from inside out. And this is again something where I completely, completely agree because every work, it's an inner work first. And I say that you cannot give to others what you don't have inside. And then when people start to change, they start to think positive and they start to really see the changes in their lives. Yes. But at a certain point, they became scared. Oh my God, this is happening. Oh, it's happening to me and they get blocked. And this is something what I call fear of success. What do you think about this, Maggie? Yeah. Is this really a fear of success or what's happening at this point? I think I, I truly believe that being surrounded with like-minded people is crucial. Mm, I exactly. strongly believe that having supportive network of friends mm. and having great communication with other people and not being afraid to verbalize your thoughts is essential. Many people may not like us being changed because they need to tap onto realizing that they need to change in order to understand us mm. and so my, some people may not be very grateful for <laughs> seeing the changes in us because it kind of like activates their thinking but that's why i love about what i love about reconnecting with yourself that it's very very important of course to have good communication with others however what you think about yourself is the most precious thing mm. i grew up with parents teaching me that it doesn't really matter what I think, that it really doesn't matter how I look. My job is to please everyone else. Exactly. And, and you I, are East European as well. I, I, I don't want to say nothing bad really about that part of Europe. I'm sorry for interrupting again, but yes, I know that that mentality is a little bit different than the Western mentality. And you or we being girls, we've been raised and you've been raised that you have to stay in your corner, accept and do whatever they told you to do. And you cannot have your own thoughts. You cannot say out loud what you really think because that's not good. You have to follow the rules. You have to please people. And when you grow up like this, it's very difficult then to change. Yes. So 
very I think it is, but it's manageable. Uh, yes, and definitely. We can do it. I I like to be thinking about it that when I when I was born, I um, and it's happening to so many other people. We are being born into certain community, mm. we are being born into certain religion or uh, culture, yes. and so from the you know day zero, we are being molded by other people who look after us, uh, yes. rather than being raised up as a beautiful flowers. So we are being managed rather than being beautifully looked after so we can exactly. grow independently and we can love ourselves the way the way we are so exactly. even though now i know that i may disagree with certain techniques that were practiced on me when i was little but from distance of time and the, the work that i've done on myself and with my with my clients i treat it as a blessing kind of thing Yes. Because what I went through allowed me to understand what other people might be going through. And because I overcame so much hardship in my life, I'm, uh, I, I love supporting other people. And uh, if I can change one, one's life, even one's life is a total blessing for me. I, so th this is what I love. This I what I love you, Maggie, because whatever you are saying, it's exactly my thought. Exactly, I'm saying that if there is only one person out there that I was able to change their life already worth it, and there, here again, I'm going to go back to one of your sentences that where you said that well, they are afraid to verbalize your thoughts basically talking about communication so yeah. we are afraid to communicate what we feel why we feel that way because here again comes the limiting belief of, of what other we think of you so on the moment when we start to change and start to achieve success all these limiting beliefs are coming back to us like a boomerang yeah. so for this are there those coaches like you, for example, who, who teach from experience? So we have been there, we overcome that, we, we, we were able to change. And I said that you as a coach, as a woman, as a, as a beautiful soul in a human body were able to change, that everybody can change if you are willing to, basically. So on the moment when you are at the cape and you, you are just, you know, one step from success, please guys, don't go back, just one step further. And for this, you have lots of help out there. Like Maggie, for example, she's an amazing coach, really. So could you please, Maggie, help me out here a little bit and tell me what kind of daily habits or tips, let's say some tips, for people who, who are almost there, but they are, uh-oh, I'm not sure if I want to go further. What's going to happen now? I'm going to have more money. Oh, my God, what people will think. Can I, I can buy better clothes because, you know, this is the fear that, especially about money, but that's a different topic that would take me hours. <laughs> so would you be so kind and tell us as, um, some tips? and how we can overcome this, this fear of success by daily habits or something. Yes, of course. Without health, we cannot do anything in our life. Mm. I've, I've been having lots of clients who um, were living by themselves and being scared that if they won't improve their health, they may collapse one day with a stroke or heart attack and no one will ever find them. Mm. And uh, so understanding our body needs are crucial. Mm in order to provide for ourselves. So understanding, um, I'm a really intuitive coach as well. And uh, I practice meditation and mindfulness every single day. Uh, so that allows me to understand how I'm feeling about certain things, what my associations with different things, mm. and also understanding why I'm doing it, what I'm doing. So another quote of mine is, which I really love, that there are two greatest days of our life. The first one is when we are being born. And the second one is when we finally find our why. Oh, can you please say that again? 
it's beautiful. Just because it's beautiful, so it goes here. So there are two most beautiful days of our lives. The first one is when we are being born, because we are being born out of love. We are being born out of connection, humans, love, and God's protection. And also the second day is when we finally find our why. For yeah. some people it's a job, for some people it's having family, for some people it's having uh, whatever you may think of uh, that different ways. So understanding yourself, understanding your needs is crucial. Yeah. And then comes healthy eating, hydration, weight management, um, coming of addictions and improving sleeping and all the bits that I support people with. Also, I'm a very futuristic person. I strongly mm -hmm. visualize things and yeah. I treat every day as a baby step that is taking me one day closer to achieve my desired outcomes. That's amazing. Every day I wake up and I know that the first 20 minutes of each morning is essential and it influences the rest of the day. Yeah. So starting a day with meditation, with affirmations, with saying out loud to ourselves, not only keeping in our mind, but keep saying to ourselves so the whole body can listen what awesome people we are, what amazing people we are. And also, I believe that I need to, we need to be our best friends exactly. and best cheerleaders. So very often we can trap our mind in keep thinking, oh, what else, what else, what else I need to do, what else I have to do, rather than thinking about amazing journey that we've already completed. Exactly. Doing self, uh, doing self evaluation is very, very important also to have self-compassion for ourselves and self-gratitude. Mm. Very often we think about what else we want to have in life in order to enrich us. But I strongly believe that all what we need is already within us. Exactly. We had great assets, we had great strengths, and we had great endless possibilities that are within us. So by tapping on it, and building on it, that's the way to success. So uh, yeah, and as I said, daily affirmations, being outcome focused as well. So mm. keep visualizing where we're going rather than being solution focused. When we are being solution focused, lots of problems may come our way. But if we believe in where we're heading, it's much more important. And therefore another saying of mine, which I really love is, making your dreams that big that your temporary problems seem insignificant in comparison. So when, I love. when you visualize it, you know where you're heading, you know that whatever is happening now, you will overcome it. You just need to learn techniques how to do it in order to do it in the nicest and the kindest way to yourself. Exactly. Oh my God, Maggie, I love, I love what you're saying. I so much relate because, so guys, the tip what we are giving, Maggie is giving to you is the daily morning meditation, the daily routines, uh, the affirmations. For me, as for myself, I have a gratitude book every morning. I write 10 things that I'm grateful for. I used to be that person who was very much focused on what i i lack oh my god i need that i want that i don't have that and it was horrible but on the moment when the shift happened and i started to focus on basically what i already have in my life and i started to be really grateful i realized that oh my goodness i have so many things what i should be grateful for and i am grateful for and then everything changed so overcoming fear of success is just healthy daily habits, taking care of your mind, of your body, of your soul, watching your thoughts, being grateful and starting to work from inside out and never, ever, ever 
lose your faith in yourself. That's the most important thing. Exactly. And and this this we can this we can basically overcome this fear of success what we have inside of us. Yes, I w- what I like to be doing with my clients uh, is a simple activity that anyone can do. So I would recommend you guys to do it the same. If you have a self-imposed limitations, if negative thoughts come to your head, if you have doubts or you have insecurities, you also have inner coach within you. Write it down, write it down what your, se- what your self-critic says to you at the moment and try to find within yourself what the inner coach would tell him. Wow, so that's a powerful exercise, Maggie. So, so it's inner coach, uh, vice uh, uh, inner critic. And to outbalance negativity of messages that we have in our heads, we need to allow two positive things for one negative one. Mm. And this is the same with people around us. There are some people who may drain us from our energy and there are people who feed us with the glorious energy. So we exactly. also need to be careful who we choosing to spend time with. Exactly. And also about our inner energy. I do lots of coaching about how we're spending our days, what places we are at, what we do with our bodies in order to provide us all the time with constant feeding positive energy rather than being drained out of energy. And that's very, very important as well to be of comfort mind, uh, to know what you, what you can do to support yourself this way. I love what you are saying because uh, there are very simple things what can help us so much. All the daily habits, the exercise is very, okay, let's face it, it sounds simple, the inner coach versus inner critic, but if you really sit down and you are doing this inner work, then this simple method, the simple techniques can lead you far, far. I, there is a quote, I think it's less brown, but I'm not sure, so someone correct me, please, if I'm wrong, he said, um, aim for the moon, and if you stop half, with something like that, if you stop uh, halfway, then you are already between the stars or something similar. Lovely. But but I love this one because, come on, guys, we are all beautiful. We have unlimited potential within each and every one of us, in me, in Maggie, in you, in each and every one of you. Just let it out. Let your light shine. Turn inward. And please, guys, be gentle with yourself and love yourself. Love that. I love that, Maggie. Thank you, Christina. I think what I may say, I think to what you just said, uh, thank you very much for you know sharing it with us. It was beautiful. And it just comes to my another saying that I keep saying that um, if we keep crying that we don't see stars, mm. we, we won't see moon either. So it's about appreciation, the little things that are happening to us. And also I like to be saying and thinking that what has power over us is what we give power to. Exactly. So by having positive thoughts and uh, it's, it's, it's very, our thoughts affecting our behaviors and behaving our feelings. So no matter how hard it is, we need to be we need to be hopeful. We need to know oh. that it will pass. I always say as well that after the darkest of nights, there is always a beautiful sunrise the next morning. That's so no true. matter how, what a hardship we're facing, we will come out if we know how to support ourselves. That's true and beautifully said, Maggie. Thank you. And on the last thought, guys, because I'm about to complete this live now. I would kindly like to ask you, Maggie, if Star One would love to connect with you, where where they can find you, who, where they can find Maggie Englander. <laughs> so first of all, thank you, Christina. So first of all, I wanted to um, 
I wanted to offer to anyone who is watching the event. And wow, guys, come on. That's a huge opportunity. So jump so, in the comments. <laughs> yeah, just join my group, the Undefeatables. But also, if you like, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to give you a free 30 minutes discovery call with myself. Wow. And we can talk about your personalized steps to success. And uh, I'm going to post uh, in comments under the live how you can contact me. So if you have any questions, uh, please do it. I'm happy to respond to all of you. And uh, I always strongly believe that together everyone achieves much more. Yes. So by being together and growing together, we can conquer anything. Even if it seems unrealistic, we can all do it. Right, Christina? I completely agree and I I completely agree with you. I love you for that. I love you for being with me today, answering my questions. And um, guys, until the next live, we both with Maggie will wish you a lot of love, light, and remember, fly. First of all, love yourself, always. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.